up everybody welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you are new it's your girl simaholic i am back with episode eight of love without a limit please make sure that you catch up to all the episodes so you're just not like lost and confused on what's going on or anything like that but in the last episode you guys saw what did you guys see? Oh, they did. They did the Sterling, because I'm about to say Scar. Sterling and the um, Sim of Honors, they went and they looked for a wedding dress and a bridesmaid dress. Guys, I am honestly thinking about changing the sisters from being her Sim of Honor. I don't know. I just don't think they should do it anymore. Like, I'm not really feeling them being in it. So I think I might switch them out. I don't know. But that's one. Two, we are on a blind, not a blind date, a double date. And guess who we on this double date with? Guess who, guys? Guess who? Ah, look, it's Dove and Benjamin, you guys. Look at my girl Dove right here. If you follow me on my community post, if you subscribe to my channel, I'll be chatting in the community post. I did post that Dove is pregnant with baby number three. And I didn't say what she was having and all of that good stuff, but she's pregnant. But I decided to do a double date because, hey, we already know, like, they, they know her brother, Tessa, and stuff like that. But they don't really know Dove and Benjamin. So I wanted them to, like, have a, another friend that's a couple and all of that good stuff. So I added them to the fold. And we're doing a double date. And depending on what time we're done with this restaurant and all that good stuff, we are definitely going to go out to like a bar maybe or a lounge or something like that. But as you guys can see, look at her stomach. <laughs> but let's get into this double date. So I did have Sterling order the food already. So that the food should be on its way. Um, what we're going to do this. Let's get to know them. Let's see what he's interested in. Let's see what they do for careers. We're going to find that out. Um, we also need to do a play date because I do want, like, all the children to get to know each other. So this is also why I'm doing a, a double date. So they can do a play date and all of that stuff. Hey, have a name. Huh. Huh. Snow Bay Fleezer. <laughs> Pip a towel. Mm. You're like, hi, Dove. Nice to meet you. The Norma KB Seaboat. Ah, sit down. Close it. Uh, it's just no. Gaina. Oh. Did I see what he does? Um, ask about his hobbies. Let's do that. Let me just pause real quick so I could just like keep the conversations flowing easily between them. So I'm going to have him find out about what he does. Uh, what is this? Practice fighting. The hell? Uh... Let's talk about sports to them. We are in Willow Creek, so I'm just like hoping we don't see Jasmine. Jasmine don't pop up at this restaurant. I'm hoping that Heidi ass don't pop up either at this restaurant or anything like that starting drama or anything like that because that'd be crazy <clears throat> let's talk sports why do dove look high um let's do that all right 
And then we're gonna keep the conversation going on her. If you don't Chicks know Love? who Dub is, uh, but I did go live with her. I did a live stream with her a few times. I actually did a live stream with her on Saturday. And um, Dub basically, I was playing with her, put her in. I wanted her to be like a rag, rags to riches kind of person. And I couldn't do it because I just cannot have my sins being broke. But that's the story for another day. So we, so um, Dove went into being a freelance chef. So she has like her own little Emma chef Bates. company. Ah. She did live in Suwami <laughs> with her husband, with Benjamin. Why is he going to make food? Sit down. He did live in Suwami. Well, Kaljo Darishi. Dub and her husband lived in Sulani after she had the kids. They moved to Sulani. But now they are back in the States. Right now they are living in Willow Creek. And she is on child number three. She owns a, well, she did own a restaurant. She sold the restaurant because honestly, the restaurant was taking up a lot of her time. So she sold the restaurant. And now she just getting back into being a freelance chef. So that is, that is a short, watered down story of who she is. Let's gossip and uh, let's continue to talk. Branca Flanobo. If it's a May. Lavar. Flama. Flama. Dina. What I'm going to have Dub do is we're going to have her spill some tea that we didn't know that needed to be spilled. So. As you guys know, Jasmine do live in Willow Creek, or if you don't know, she do live in Willow Creek. I don't think I said that in the last episode, because in the last episode, we seen her house. Scar had to buy Jasmine a house because Jasmine is carrying his second child, and in order for her to keep her mouth shut, which I don't think she's keeping her mouth shut, um, he had to buy her a house. So... We are going to gossip, uh, gossip about a Sims, and we're gonna gossip about Jasmine. So if you like it, you can go to the stage and be with um, like the Sims and Jasmine. I'm not sure if you know her. But you live like next to Jasmine. She has like this nice big house. Oh, oh, me and her daughter was yeah. there and all that good stuff. She like, really? Why are you sitting, girl? Eat your food. Oh, that's nice. You know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We made some great memories and. We'll make many more, I'm sure of it. Okay. So, like, I like this. Dove don't really have, like, what is this? Eat your food. Eat your food. Like, Dove is not, like, full of drama or anything like that. So, come on, girl. They need to. I didn't even know they had a damn um, popcorn maker. You should. Let me see. Eat your food. Wait, don't tell me you about to go get the same. Oh, hey. Yeah. Yeah, sit down. Sit down. Sit and chat. Y'all don't do anything else but sit down and eat. That's it. Uh -huh. Marie. Come on, eat your food, drink your little drinky drink, and then continue talking. Let's see what else we could talk about. We could ask about his wedding day we could do all of that and then um what else we could do let's see 
And also, if, if I haven't said this before, or if you're new here, and you decided to start at this episode, because I've been randomly doing that to other people's Sims channel. I've been starting out like episode five of their channel. I mean, of the LP, and I would not go back to episode one. I would just start from five, six, seven, eight, and move forward like that. But Benjamin is also Grayson's brother, and then Grayson and Scar is on the same basketball team. If anybody, if you guys wanted to know that piece of information. But yeah, <laughs> so. <laughs> Spino? Say, yeah, I haven't really. had the pleasure of meeting Jasmine. You met Jasmine before, girl. Exchange vows? What the hell? Don't do that. I said to ask about wedding day, not exchange your vows. Alright, you know what? Y'all gonna eat. Just eat. Eat your food. How's everybody food normal? Oh, Bonzi. You leave. She had to use the bathroom. She's tired. Looks like Dromus. Yeah, eat. What is this? Shabonet. Come, eat your food. Everybody eat. It's so annoying that I had to tell all my sims to eat. Just We're not bossy. Eat. Come on. All right, y'all. She is finally eating. So let's have them talk. Continue talking. But she just telling her like she lives next. She do live next door to. Um, now why the hell did he buy that? So you can't can't leave your sins unattended because they buy stuff they don't need to buy. But she was just basically letting her know like she lived next door to um, Jasmine, which I'm not sure why she's saying she don't know Jasmine because they do know each other and they don't like each other. I can't find it, but I know for sure that she don't like she don't like Jasmine. So I'm not sure why she's saying that she don't know her. But um, Scar is like, damn, she lived next door to Jasmine. Like, seriously. So he's like, that's not gonna be good. Let's give some parenting tips. Dinner ended, so we are at this karaoke bar, and what we're going to do is, I'm going to have him, oh, he can't set the table. Okay, so what I'm going to have him do is, um, let's order a drink for the group. Well, she can't, um... Let's order a drink and then I'm gonna have uh, Oh she's ordering a drink. No, no, no. I'm gonna have her do a <laughs> Alright, we're gonna sing a duet with Sterling. Chuncha. No. Go ahead. She her eardrums hurt. <laughs> oh wait, no, 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 girl, no, no, no. Alright, let's see if we can do this over. Y'all go see y'all do it. Wabba she be is dumb for round. If 
Sana swoot blown a bloody jowl. Uba kelka flurvu. Grunty oops la la. Is me bear boy. May the fleet boats are. May they put a noise. Grunty oops la la. Sam's fast food. Okay, that's it. That was fast. Girl. Is she drunk? Like, why are they trying to have sex pass out so fast? It says Sterling had one or or five drinks too many. Girl, get up, get up! This is not how you're supposed to be ending your night. Not knocked out like that. When did she even? You know what? We gonna have the boys do one now. This sing something, and then after that, we're gonna sing something too. We're gonna do a solo, and then I kind of want everybody. Oh wait, you sit down over here because I, I don't Let's understand why you're passing out like that. Sit down. Live. I gotta keep an eye on Sterling. Now you supposed to be having fun. Lag and shade to fly. Wonkers, creep of blurs. First got your blicky bars. One fondue. He's done. Let's have her sing something. Let's have Dove sing something. Don't tell me. I'm not that girl. Don't tell me she about to pass out again. Shabakashi blow Shaza Zazu Balafui Shabu Zongs Echo Flip Shatevune Shabanu Let's do a round. Gishla, maybe love on the zoo. Survey the little mushroom. Moo, gal, thou, a moo, the shoe. Shabba, cow, she blow. Shabba, you blame, she blow. Come on. Yes, she should be blow. Wally boots with Gishla. All right, Sterling. Let's sing. Let's sing some pop. Go sing some pop music. Honestly, guys, I am going to end up just sending Dove home because she's not feeling good. So I'm gonna send her home. And. After that, I'm gonna send. Fifty swipic, excuse me, blue she. I thought he went to use the bathroom. Trobi grande, Trobi brexabum, exabe, Trobi fru, Trobi panaf, Eben jabu. Okay, Charlie, sing that song. Joe B. Grom. Joe B. Grom.
my good sis singing out here all right i'm gonna have her use the bathroom and then is there a bathroom let's have her use the bathroom upstairs use the bathroom and then i'm gonna have him oh he about to pass out look at that we're gonna do a solo with him because he didn't get to do one. So, all right, he passed out. I promise y'all, we about to send him home, y'all. Get up, Scar. Get up. Embarrassing people like that. Such an embarrassment. He's messed up. Like, he's drunk, drunk. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, you miss honey. This was fun. She's gonna go home. No more drinking, Sterling. Go home. Go home, go home. Bonka. I didn't even peep the time, y'all. It is seven o'clock in the morning. They had a time last night. Don't control. Okay, we're not gonna control him. They had a time. I ain't gonna lie. I enjoyed this um double date that they did, even though um it was a little messed up. So what I'm going to do is, do he have work? OMG, I didn't even check that. Damn, he got work in two hours. So what I'm going to do is have her go to sleep because she do have a audition today. So at 7 o'clock. She has like enough time, but sis, you got to sleep that drunkenness off and... I am going to have him take a, oh, I can't have him take a nap on that one. We're just going to have him take a nap really quick before he goes to work. Yeah, if I knew he had work, I didn't even check to see if he had work, but if I had knew he had work, I would not have him out so late. I would have done this. On a Sunday, but it is what it is. She's tired. I know, I know, I know. All right, so Scar is up. He is late for work, but he did receive a text from his mother that says, Hey, son, this is your mother. Jasmine stopped huh? by the house to inform us that she's pregnant, and she also gave us an invitation to her baby shower. I was a little confused as to why she thought we cared that she is pregnant or why she was going out of her way to let us know, but then it dawned on me. <sighs> Are you the father of her child, Scar? If you get that little slut pregnant Please again, don't... I'll be Yeesh. highly disappointed in you. Please oh. tell me what I'm thinking isn't true. So I don't know why Jasmine is would do something like Ooh. what the hell? What the hell? Benjamin, what kind of time no, you on? Y'all blowing each other kids? Made me Keep forget what I was about to Bill say. Bar. But <laughs> I'm a little I'm not a little confused. So Star Mom is just like why the hell is this girl even coming to the house? Like, the only person that we care about is Cypress. That's it. Why is she here? So she is confused on to why Jasmine is just telling her, like, yo, I'm pregnant, and why are you inviting me to a baby shower? So 
his mom put two and two together. She thinking that baby, she carrying his scar baby. Because ain't no way Jasmine would go out her way like that. So, guys, I'm going to end. What the hell? Wow. Wow. Wait, hold on. Public disgrace. Sterling name has been connected to World Days. Online readers are saying that World Days means you were unable to think or act normal, normally in public. This has led many to question your behavior. And your reputation has taken a hit. No, <laughs> that's not good. I didn't think her being drunk outside was going to have her being in the media like that. That is crazy. Nah, Sterling. Mm -mm, mm -mm. She ain't going out like that. Can I do something to like say can I say something like this is crazy can I like go on social media and be like hey like I'm outside with my friends it's summertime I'm trying to have a good time like ain't nobody acting proper all the time yeah I don't know what I wasn't expecting that at all that was a first for me for having a sense um get called out like that in the media but yeah we're gonna end this episode right here scar gonna have to holler at his mom and we're gonna have to figure out this whole thing with sterling being on the internet for acting up so i'll see you guys in the next episode bye